What's up, Inko Online here with Mike Watt. How you doing, hey. man? Nice to see you. I understand you just put out uh, your own label just recently. Well, yeah, I've had it for about a year and a half. About a year and a half? Yeah. Twin Trench? Yeah, three new releases. First one was one with the other night, Hyphenated Man. I put out Dose Album, Fourth Dose Album, and then I had it. Okay. And then the third album was Spiel Gush or something to do with Richard Meltzer. It was a better rock writer. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The only it's like kind of going back to the old days when we were doing had doing a lot good years ago. Put out the first three to seven albums for six Yeah, definitely. I mean, you had quite a vast career from what you've done. You work with almost everyone who, you're influential for almost every artist that's out there for quite some time. Now, you're actually doing a tour to promote the um, Hyphenated Man right now? Well, it's the second time in the United States around. It's actually the fourth time. But I wanted to hit towns. I didn't hit them the last ones. Okay. And uh, I haven't been to Buffalo in a while. And I feel real bad about that. Well, I mean, there's going to be a packed house to see you tonight. What did, sure. uh, the last time was like some supper club. She Square thing, and jump on the mall. Okay. The tables. I, I think I know exactly where you're My first time mall out of place. I heard it's been here a long time. I remember the first time I played this town was at the school on the quad, Buff State. Buff State, yep. yeah. Yeah, it was a festival. Ball fest, yeah, or something. I don't remember exactly, but uh, I remember being here in February once too, and there was some snow. Oh, there's definitely some snow here, that's for sure. But it was always yeah, interesting here the show or uh, no? playing yeah, here. No. And uh, I'm sorry for neglect. Uh, Western New York. I mean, I've come through many times right. after playing in Canada, you know, and just to keep going is ridiculous. Yeah, for sure. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. Well, you're definitely a busy man. I mean, you're bouncing around for everything back and forth. I know, but it's uh, every everybody's got something to teach you. So uh, neglecting places is uh, ridiculous. Right. Sorry. So you got to be quite busy, even though you're doing this tour. You still bounce back and forth, and make a copy of the Stooges, right? Stooges, I've done for nine and a half years. Yeah, I had to. Uh, in fact, this tour started with the Paris Florence gig, and then I met Tommy Mallow in Seattle, and then I had to leave a few days ago to a gig in Texas. Yeah, yeah. just at the Austin Festival. That must That's have been right. There. Austin City Limits Festival. Yeah. Uh, every Stooges gig is beautiful for me. It's amazing. It's. Uh, I love that band, and I think for our scene, I don't know if there'd be a punk scene without Stooges. Yeah, definitely. So just the idea of me playing with them is kind of a mind blow still after all these years. I feel fifth, the first was Coachella in 2003. Right. Okay. Now you actually got paired with them by doing covers of uh, Stooges songs, and then Iggy heard you and thought it was something. Uh, kind of like that. I got sick and almost died. So to get strong, I, yeah, it was the first time I had to stop playing bass because they had tubes. In it. So oh. to get strong, I started doing Stooges songs because there's not a lot of chord changes, but there's a lot of feel. Right, right. And then I put together, yeah, the East Coast version of Jillian Murphy Dinosaur and the West Coast version with Peter and Perth from Porn for Pyros. Jay made this album called Jay Nice See the Fox. He asked me to tour and he asked me to do some Stooges songs because we had fun doing those gigs. Yeah. When we came to Ann Arbor, he told me, asked me to call Ronnie because I'd probably been to my gigs and I also did a soundtrack for this Robert yeah. Goldman movie. So he came down, we took him on tour, and the last third of the set was doing Stooges songs. And there was this All Tomorrow's Party thing that uh, Thurston curated. And he said, when this guy was living in his truck, he said, well, you get him on drums. Right. And so, uh, Here's me and Jay playing with both the Ashton brothers. They heard about that and asked them to play on the Skull Ring record. And then, yeah, a few months later, I got the call. I was in Tallahassee. And he said, he said uh, Ronnie says you're the man, which was something I could have never imagined. Yeah, it's got to be a great feeling to get an young song. a call like that. Yeah. And, uh, he said, would you do me a favor? Would you wear a T-shirt instead of a flannel? I said, no problem, man. Yeah, right? Because this is John Fogey's thing <laughs> anyway, you know? Yeah. He said, what about Levi and uh, Converse? He said, that's strong. Cool. Yeah, right. But Take I mean, it was, it was a wild thing. So it's it still for me like this. These are songs that moved in my head since teenage. Oh, yeah. So, he's helped me become a, a, a better bass player. Very cool. You know. Now, you've had a lot of different 
bands throughout your career. Yeah. But the one that sticks out in my mind is when it was just straight Mike Watt and he had Eddie Vedder and David Grohl back. Uh, it's just a tour. It's a really a band. How did that come about? They were my band. They had their own bands and then said, hey, well, I will play with you after. Well, Ed would do uh, Hovercraft, Dave did his. Uh, actually, he had done everything on the album, so he put together this band to uh, play in front of them. And then they came and played with me after that. And uh, so it, it's something like an uh, adventure. Yeah, definitely. I wouldn't really say it was bad. Although we played together, yeah, it is a band. I'm wrong. Man. Oh, sorry. That's okay. But, uh, yeah, Mike Watt. <laughs> Very strange. When you're a bass player, the politics of this instrument is you look good making other people look good. Right. So even if it's your band, like like with the brick here, see, I'm like the grout between the bricks, this mortar, <laughs> and not the bricks. I'm just the one holding everything like together. Like they, yeah, see what I mean? Yeah. Well, sure. it's just, everybody's got some, something to do, and uh, I, I find it interesting. Yeah, like being glue. You say glue, yeah. yeah. And what's glue with nothing to stick to, just a puddle? Right. So that was an interesting tour. Yeah, uh, those big cats. Thank you. Play some drums. <laughs> There's something else. That was, uh, that was good. There was still some other things. It was an interesting thing. Uh, we did a little bit of hype around it. Right, yeah, yeah, definitely. That was 17 years ago. Yeah, it was quite some time, but I'm still, you know, everyone still knows about it, that's for sure. Oh, okay. You're keeping yourself busy uh, quite a bit. You got a book you just released? That's right, that's right. On Pictures of my town, yeah. Because I do kayak and bicycle in the morning. Right? <laughs> cool. I live in a harbor in Los Angeles. And uh, bike every day is too hard on my knees, so I got into this paddle. It's mm -hmm. going to go waist up, but we're a weird mix of uh, industrial harbor. I think the third biggest in the world now, and then nature. So there's pelicans, and sea lions, and right. dolphins, and hammerhead cranes, <laughs> you know, and docks. It's a trippy thing. And sunrises, Pedro's weird because it faces east because we're on peninsula. So I was just was sending these around to my buddies and. First, there was an art show at the Track 16 Gallery in Santa Monica, and then this New York publisher asked to make a film. I was cool. very, I was very honored. Yeah, I've got some projects done up. Yeah, a whole bunch of stuff uh, as far as recording and, and touring. Uh, album I did with two Italian guys comes out in January, and I tour in Europe there. Oh, really? Uh, Stooges are recording another album. Awesome. So uh, I've already done nine songs. They want me to just do some more. I got a thing coming up with. Uh, uh -huh. Nels Klein, amazing guitarist, and a young man who wanted to play with him called Nick Reinhardt from the band called Terra Mela, so from there, with the drummer of Deerville. The guitar player from, from Greg, the guitar player from Greg, I if I just did an album John, we're going to make a second one soon. Really? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm trying to uh, put my bass in interesting yeah, situations. Yeah, for sure, you know? Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. I mean, Different styles that you do for different albums, is that? Yeah, of course. I mean, does that? You gotta be sensitive to people you play with, or you're just doing I Love Lucy reruns. Right, you're not right. Growing. <laughs> One thing I've learned about middle age, you know, December I'm 55, so. Congratulations. I'm trying to, yeah, double nipples. Huh? <laughs> what I'm trying to do is prove to myself what I tried to do even with that ball hog or tugboat. Right. Everybody's got something to teach me. You also uh, do a podcast? I do radio show I've done for 11 years, once a week when I'm home, it's hard on tour. It's called the Watford Pedro Show, TWFPS.com. And uh, mainly, well, one consistent thing is I started the show with John Coltrane's song, but then I play music that people give me. There's all kinds of people. I don't play any merch. It's stuff that cats give me at the gigs and stuff like that. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you so wouldn't believe it. So you're giving, out, you're giving a chance to people that you come to see. It's it stuff I videos. find interesting. And, uh, I can hear that other music on the other stage. I'm on a, uh, yeah. Now, have you ever picked anybody up for your label by somebody? But my label something? is basically, because I've got so many projects going, is to get Watt stuff out. I'm not, I don't really have the time or resource. Well, yeah, I mean, you got so many different things on your That's own. That's right, and, that, and I didn't want anything bottlenecking that up. And uh, you can run things, because the internet now, pretty one man, and I mean, I, I do it with org music, uh, cooperation with this other, 
group of people who uh, actually they reissue, reissue vinyl. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Yep. We've seen this yep. sort of music. So, I mean, with that, but it's, I'm, I'm still uh, kind of wide oriented. Right, right. So, uh, definitely got to But I, I'm not trying to be like, yeah, what you were saying about the radio show, yeah, some exposure that way. But I can't put out their albums, but I can play them on my radio. Right, show. yeah. I mean, definitely give And I also can share the stage with them at gigs. That's cool. Like tonight, I think I'm playing with the Buffalo Bill. Definitely, yeah. I believe, um, I'm not sure the name, but I know they are. Somebody told me they're called the Returners. Yeah, that's right. Very cool. Now, people want to get the book. Buy the albums yeah. you were going Mike to Mike Watt.com. Mike Watt.com. M-I-K-E-W-A-T-T dot C-O-M. Perfect. And uh, that's the way you get around, right, nowadays? Yeah. I've had this site up since 96. Oh, wow. Yeah, because you know what? I found real early there was a big parallel between, remember the old days of fanzines? Yes. And the internet. Yep. No middlemen. No. People, Don't you know what I mean? Exactly Jamie right. Connell and let the freak flag fly. Very cool. Now you dates are till November for November this tour, 10th. and then you got another November 10th. November Last 10th. one's in Long Beach, and then you got another Iggy Pop show. I think on the 24th of November. Stooges at the Staples Center with Morrissey, which is a trip. And then Australia, you guys actually got a show. Yeah, there. but before that, I have a tour with my Italian guys, Antonio de Marinaio, in Europe, really from February 15 to March 16. Perfect. Then I'll go to Australia, like you said. And everything will be on the site so people can see and get tickets. And my flight back home, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, and like I said, probably next year's Big Stooges for um, the album. You think we should be a tour with that? Oh, I know it, I know it. That's what I mean. Don't be gigs. Make sure you come back on Buffalo. I would love to. Me too. You know, the road manager, Eric Fisher's from Buffalo. Really? First met him uh, playing with Jay Maskus. He's road manager there. Now he's been with the Stooges these nine and a half years. So there's a piece of Buffalo traveling around with the Stooges and making sure they can. Definitely. Uh, you know, could get that history flag fly. Yeah, for sure. Anything else you want to promote? Uh, your, your thing. Well, so for King Cool. So for King Cool. Much respect. Thank you. Well,